<laughs> Hello? 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 Good morning! We clearly need to shut down. We know that we do not want to be in the same boat as any of these countries in 10 days' time. Gosh, who am I? I am a microbiologist. So I've spent the last 10 years learning how to talk about infectious diseases and my research. And then COVID-19 happened. The virus has now infected more than 34,000 in 25 countries. Global infections are climbing with more than 180,000 recorded now since the outbreak started. A lot of people are still behaving as though this is just something that's not really going to happen to us. We have been asking our viewers <laughs> the questions they want answered and you're one of the very best people to answer them. Dr. Susie Wiles joins us now. I Morena. love hearing from you. I love speaking with you because you keep things real for us and you tell us how it is. What we're really seeing now is what's happened when nature has collided with humans, you know, in this globalised world. And what we're watching is how different countries respond. An increasing sense of panic has been going through my head. Our borders are closed, but the problem we still have is that lots of people are thinking, oh, well, I'll be fine. What about those who aren't fine if they transmit it to them unknowingly? So we just need to stop thinking about ourselves and start thinking about everybody else. So I will try and do that without getting upset today. <laughs> Hi. I'm glad I'm here. You can do something about the big dark patches under my eyes. <laughs> um, our borders are closed and we are in the fight of our lives to contain and eliminate a virus that will change our world as we know it. Um, the economic carnage from closing our borders will be massive, but we need another mini budget. The closures are all about trying to stop cases coming in. So what we know from lots of other countries is that there were cases bubbling around in the community that weren't picked up for a few weeks. And that means every one of us needs to stop behaving as though we're going to become infected and start behaving as though we are infected. Would there be a you standard know? best practice after this? If there's, if there's a world that there, you there already is, is actually. But, but it doesn't look like it to me. No, there totally like is. No. So there are countries that are dealing with this really well and they are not getting the press. So you should be talking to people from Singapore, from Taiwan. We will see stuff here. There is no doubt about that. We will see stuff here. And the question is how we come together to make sure that we stamp those things out. Coming up, uh, what do the new border closures mean for our tourism industry? They're shot, aren't they? So tourism in New Zealand, tourism is next. Okay. I'm still so depressed that they're all focused on the economy and, um, you know, the site. we can't do anything too soon. It's just look at what's happening overseas, <laughs> you know? And this really weird thing that, you know, all our tourists are, are, are not coming. I'm finding that really frustrating. <laughs> I guess, again, that's a Possibly a values and a political <laughs> differences. Italy's war on the world's invisible enemy just escalated. It was like a bomb. It exploded and all of a sudden you are overwhelmed by the patient. There's been another media advisory. One of the cruise ships that visited recently has had some people test positive. The Ministry of Health is in the process of contacting 56 New Zealanders who were on board the ship. Meanwhile, I'm Pimpson B. <laughs> I know, I know, everybody's in the bars. Ah. Yeah. Can you just hang on one second? Sorry, my other phone is ringing. Hang on a second. Ah! The countries that weren't watching and thought it wouldn't happen to them have acted too slowly and now they are in big trouble. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh my God, it's getting crazy. All right, we need to back, we'll go back to the other room, but we need to check the. Ah! We know that level four is where we need to be to stop transmission. In two weeks time, or even a week's time, we will be in trouble. 36 more people have tested positive for COVID-19. Two of those are being treated as community transmission, not linked to overseas travel, which elevates the risk of widespread infections. You have always been recognized by this hair color, even though the majority of people do not like it. I think everyone tolerates it as your knowledge is necessary. You will look stunning with dark brown, black hair. Just think about it, as I would hate for you to become replaceable when we need an expert to interview. I know this is not a nice email, 
but it is founded purely by concern for you. Take care. Oh, God. The same yes. shit from people who think your hair is going to hold you back and it yeah. didn't hold you back. No, that's years. true. That's true. I'm proud of her for doing all this stuff. It can be a bit annoying with calls and everything at every minute of the day, but I guess she has to, so it's fine. I don't look like somebody who's supposed to be leading or in a position of authority. Authority and expertise can look like something else and sometimes it's pink, which is distressing for some people, it seems. Hi! I just went up on a phone. Are you busy? No, no, what, no. Um, <laughs> is she busy? Just... Is she busy? <laughs> we have a little two and a half year old granddaughter who's yes. been to daycare. I don't regret for a minute standing up and playing this role. I know about the exponential growth of organisms and I know about what happens when they transmit and I'm watching what's happening to all these countries that are not controlling so it. So your suggestion would be steer clear? Steer clear yeah, of them all? Yes, yeah. Even, even the eight-year-old? Yes. And I'm worried here that people are not taking it seriously and aren't going to do what's needed to be done. 20 to 30 days after it starts is kind of when that starts ramping up. And it's really hard because if you go too fast, people aren't prepared. But if you go too late, you're too late. In 10 days, will we look like Italy or in 10 days, will we look like Singapore? We are facing the potential for devastating impacts from this virus. That's why Cabinet met today and agreed that effective immediately, we will move to alert level three nationwide. After 48 hours, the time required to ensure essential services are in place, we will move to level four. Oh. <laughs> These decisions will place the most significant restrictions on New Zealanders' movements in modern history. This oh is God, I'm so grateful for it. I do not underestimate what I'm asking New Zealanders to do. Oh, it's absolutely great. Oh, it's going to be really hard, but we will get through it. And we get through it by, you know, taking care of each other and, and, and following the rules. I feel calmer now <laughs> that, we're, that we're about to head to level four than I have felt in in a long time because now this feels like we're not on the back foot anymore, we're on the front foot and so we're going to get ahead of it but it requires all of us to do a bit. No, don't do that. Our lives are not going to be the same for the next four weeks and we just need to get used to that and going and playing golf is not going to help. 